Hello, this is Nathan. In this video, we're going to walk you through on how to install your new set of DFI sensors. This is relevant for all Little Robot 3s, so let's begin. There's only a couple of things you need to complete this job. You will need a long Phillips head screwdriver, a set of pliers, the DFI kit from catevolution.com.au that has two clear covers, the DFI sensors, and you also get a set of pinch detectors and four screws. The first thing you're going to need is your Phillips head screwdriver and unscrew the five screws on the motor well cover. Put these screws aside for you will need these again. Once you have removed the five screws, you can lift the cover by gripping the little tab in the corner and pulling up. Keeping the cover low and close to the base and remove the main circuit board by pushing on the buttons and lights and it will pop free. Now to remove the black plastic tab that's holding the wires in place by pulling up with your pliers. On the back of the board you will find three black plugs in cream sockets. Older boards will have a fourth socket that will be empty. You want to remove the first black plug or the plug that has four pins. Remove the tape keeping the wires in the channel. Now lift up and place the motor to the side, then carefully remove the wire that you unplugged from the board. Pop the board and buttons back in the cover. You will only need one out of the five screws to secure the cover for now. Now to open the base. There are nine screws you have to get access from underneath, so turn the base over so it's bottom side up. You will find four screws in the corner of the base, two screws in each side located top and bottom. Another two screws are located in each of the handles, left and right side, and one at the back above the Q code sticker. Remove all these screws and put them in a safe place. You should have nine screws in total. You can now remove the top part of the base, holding it upright, making sure to remove the blue and black wires from the clip. Once the blue and black wires have been unclipped, you can now sit the top part of the base down 
There are a total of four screws that secure the DFI sensors that need to be removed. We will also replace the pinch detectors as well. Remove the two red plugs that connect to the back of the pinch detectors. Remove the grey wiring ribbon from the clip along the back. Now you want to remove the four screws holding the DFI sensors. Remove the DFI sensors in their covers. And remove the pinch detectors. When you're installing your new set of pinch detectors, take care not to damage the plastic pillars. With your new set of DFI sensors, you will find two little slits on the plastic covers for the wires to sit in on the DFI boards, which go inside the covers. With your new DFI sensors, place them in the base ready to be screwed down, making sure that the DFI sensor that has the two red plugs is on the same side as the pinch detectors. You also want to check the grey ribbon that runs along the back to the other side is around the outside of the DFI brackets. Once you've checked that, you want to clip the wires back in running along the back and screw in the four screws for your DFI sensors.
connect the red plugs to the pinch detectors, this can be done in any order. We are almost done. Go team! Now you need to poke the wire of the black plug into the hole with the other wires to get this into the motor well. Now it's time for the famous blue and black wires to be put back into their clips. You may need to hold the top of the base upright as you do this. Once that's done, hold the top and bottom of the base together, turn it over to access the bottom and replace all nine screws that you removed earlier. Now you want to turn the base back over to normal upright position. Now you want to remove the cover for the motor well the same way as you did before. But this time you should only have the one screw. All we want to do here is locate the DFI plug and gently pull it into the motor well. The wire of the DFI sensor needs to run under the motor in the cavity with the rest of the wires so the motor holds them in place. When you're placing the motor back into the motor well, make sure that all the wires are going underneath the motor. Alright, now we're getting close. Now you want to plug in the 4 pin black plug into the back of the main circuit board. Lining up the groove on the black plug with the channel on the chrome socket. Now you want to replace the little black tab that holds the wires in place, having the high part of the black tab away from the edge. With everything you've done, it should look like this. Now everything is complete and all wires are in order, it's now time to put the cover back on. Screw down all five screws and you are finished.
And on the count of three, one, two, three. You can check your DFI sensors if they're working by using your phone's camera in video mode and point the camera at the DFI sensor on the left hand side and you should see infrared flashing lights. We at Cat Evolution hope that this was helpful for you in some way. We have more videos like this on our channel, so why not subscribe? And don't forget to click that bell to be notified of new content.